So this is a short video about how I cut and play my rough lumber to size. Uh, I usually start with these uh, eight feet boards. This is about five to six inches wide uh, and about one to one and a quarter inch thick. Uh, then really rough. I see it bowing and all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, and you can see the rough saw marks. So what I do first, I'll cut them in the right sizes. Uh, so for every project I usually have a stack of wood like this. So the next step is go to the jointer and put uh, two flat sides on it. So then I uh, take these uh, individual pieces and the shorter they are, not too short of course, uh, the less you have to take off for any warp or irregularities. I have this sideboard that is at about 90 degree angle, not about exactly 90 degree angle to keep it square. And what I usually do before I start working on it, I establish where what side I, I'd rather plane or a joint first. And then I use some chalk, mostly initially. And then after I made a pass, you can see where the high and the low spots are. So let's try it. So now I'm going to make my first pass. Now you should be able to see that a few parts have been flattened, but most of it is still rough. So I know I have to take another two or three passes to make it all flat. Let's do it. Yes, you inevitably lose a lot of uh, wood in shavings, but that's uh, part of the job. Now I've got my wood uh, flattened on two sides. I usually go to my planer, this one. Uh, to do the uh, third side, but uh, in this case I need some uh, thin boards, so to optimize my wood I'll uh, cut that uh, in half on my table saw. I'll cut through the wood in a few steps, so adjust the height because the hard maple is, is really quite hard. So I first make a groove at a low height and then increase the height until I get the right height. So I've got two cuts now, one on each side. Now I'll increase the height of the saw blade, go through it again, and then I have to do it the third time to get it all the way through. So I'll raise it again for the last time uh, and go over it again just to avoid any binding on the, on the blade which can be 
quite dangerous. I'll put a thin piece of wood in that slot so that should be a little bit safer. So I got two pieces, this one is virtually at the right thickness, this one is still a little bit too thick so I'll have to get uh, back with that on the planer, but first I have to finish the other ones. Now I got my board with an almost flat side on one side uh, and I have to plane then the top board, the top side to make it parallel again with the long bottom side. So let's go! I've got a lot of uh, finished wood now. Uh, although it's finished on three sides and there's still one rough side left but I st still have to take care of the exact measurements so I'll do that on the table saw. So now I finish the wood on the jointer and the planer now I'll be uh, cutting it uh, down to the right size plus about half or a quarter of an inch or so I use a temporary stop for the exact size so each board of the same category will be exactly the same length. That's a whole day of work and at least I got a few boards uh, to play with. Hi guys this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video give us a like and subscribe or better yet uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys done a good job